A big part of the horror genre is the villain. Horror fans love a good villain, and that is shown with Freddy, Michael, Jason, etc. If you want to make a good horror franchise, you need an effective villain, and that's why Phantasm is a great series of films. Nineteen seventy nine, director Don Coscarelli released his film debut, Phantasm. The movie and its sequels are fan favorites among horror fans, which is no surprise since they are some of the most original films in the horror genre. One aspect of these films is the theme of the existence of multiple dimensions existing within our own that you can travel through at any moment. The first film dealt with the existential fear that came with knowing about a second dimension and the mysterious tall man who passes through each dimension with ease in order to raise an army of the undead and start a war with the living. The original film was mostly a coming of age story about a boy who witnesses a funeral mortician stealing a corpse. The kid is immediately stalked by the tall man and his minions throughout the film. Ten years later, the second installment of the franchise would be released and would have the same rules but with a different outcome. Mike, the kid from the original, is now on a quest to try and take revenge on the tall man for killing his brother in the original. This one and the other sequels from here take a different route from the first film. The original took a more horror approach to its concept, but the sequels are more of a mixture of action, sci-fi, and horror as they deal with trying to figure out what the tall man is and trying to kill him once and for all. Tall Man is obviously the film's main villain, and is a good villain who is simultaneously likable and hateable. He is a despicable villain who is a serious threat in the film's universe. One reason for this is the fact that he never says a pun or a joke. He is always serious, and that's what makes him a threatening villain. Not a villain who is funny and always makes jokes and puns constantly. The second reason is the fact that he is mostly immortal. Each film has similar endings that all show the tall man still being alive. However, this is where the films become clever. As other horror films show the villain being resurrected in some way, Phantasm does this concept differently, as a different version of the tall man from another dimension usually steps into our own and tries to kill off the main cast. The reason the tall man is a unique horror villain is mostly due to the fact that in a way he is immortal because there are multiple versions of himself constantly traveling through space and time. When the tall man dies, he isn't just resurrected in order to make a sequel. Instead, he doesn't really die, only a version of the tall man is killed, then another comes back into our dimension. The tall man is probably one of, if not the scariest horror villain since he literally can't be killed. <laughs>